Hi everybody, this is Lynn uh, from Crazy for Crafting and I thought I would show you another video. This is just a one sheet box and then um, a scallop circle for the lid and the only thing holding it shut is the pretty ribbon. But this one is in the uh, Love Impressions and I'm going to show you how to make one but I'm going to use another one of the Love Impressions um, pieces of designer series paper. So we're going to start with this one and it says hugs and kisses and X's and O's all over it and the other side has just got the gray and red and stuff on it. Okay so I'm going to take my cutter and put in the scoring blade and we're going to score on the short side which is the eight and a half inch side at two and a half. And I'm going to pull this out and we're going to score at six. Okay now we're going to turn it to the long 11 inch side and we're going to score at four and a quarter. And six and three quarters. Okay, and we're basically done with that. Now all you have to do is give these a good fold. With your bone folder. Boy, sometimes I sure make a lot of noise, don't I? Well, I've got a glass top on my desk here, so if I drop anything, it sounds really loud. Okay, now here's what it looks like. We've got these pieces. Now, what we're going to do to get this to close is we're going to take this is my outside. You're going to take this first score mark and you're going to bring it up to this score mark so that you have an angle there. Okay, and then you're going to do the same to the bottom here. You're going to bring this score mark up to this one, flatten it out, give it a good rub with the bone folder and go to the next side and do the same thing. And if you've got this scored really tight because with the bone folder this will fold very very easily. We'll take it and fold it this way. Either way you like. It just depends on your paper that you use, you know, cardstock or whatever. Okay, and so then basically that's it. And all you're going to do is put sticky strip all over this. But before you do that, okay, you're going to take the three and a half inch, I'm sorry, it's a four and a half inch scallop die. And you're going to cut it out with your uh, big shot. And this is going to be your lid. So what I like to do is put a sticky strip on this. But for now, I'm just going to use a snail to show you how to do it. And on the back side, and I like to put this on before I actually tape up the rest of it. And just kind of center it. That. Okay, then you can fold it over and take your scissors and cut up the side of this. Here's that side and then go to this side. So you just have these, it's like two and a third things, little scallops. Okay, now that you've got that on there, 
all you have to do is put sticky strip on here. But I'm gonna, for the sake of doing this quickly, I'm just going to do this. I'm just moving everything around today, aren't I? Here's the back of your box. Here's the front. Now the trick is just to take these on the side kind of evenly and pinch. Take this on the side and pinch. Okay? And then this comes over and there's your little box. Now to keep this closed, all you're going to do is take a piece of um, I'm using the one and a quarter inch ribbon, about 17 inches. Now, it's easier for me if I just take the 17 inches and then take a 5 8 inch piece and put around it. And that way, all you have to do with this is just slide it on and off. And because this isn't tied, see, you can loosen it up, put it on, and then you just pull up on these. I guess I could get it a little bit neater than that. Huh? Okay. And pull these up and push that down so you've got a little ribbon. And I like to take these and separate them a little bit. And there's your really quick, sweet one piece of 8.5 by 11 um, Valentine's candy holder. Now you can decorate it with all kinds of things. So take, put little dots of the mono or the uh, two way pen glue and put some. Uh, uh, dazzling diamonds on it. You want to make a little tag and put a little tag on it to say who it's to and who it's from. And you can make these very quickly. And because it's just one piece and you're not cutting out any of the sides, it's very thick and heavy weight. So it can hold some heavier stuff if you want to put in it. So that's it for now. And uh, here's the other one I made. So now this is the Love Impressions, but this, the top isn't. This top is just a piece of the basic gray polka dot designer paper. But since the X's have dots in it, I thought that would look real cute with that one. And I put a red ribbon. Um, and I didn't have a thicker ribbon, but it still looks cute. But I do like the thicker ribbon on this. So you can make either one. And you can give away all kinds of candy or gifts or just one for that special someone in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this quickie video. And... Uh, I don't know if I'll get another one made before Valentine's Day, but probably. But in the meantime, happy Valentine's Day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, and by the way, um, this one piece of paper project, I believe, was originally done by um, Beate Johns, and that's B-A-T-E her first name, and J-O-H-N-S Johns, and uh, you can look her up on the internet and uh, see her video too. So, have a good day. See you soon. Bye.